Well, it was a tale of two halves at the Foster Pavilion as number 13 Baylor women's basketball hosted number four Kansas State for a top 15 showdown. The Wildcats coming into this one undefeated in Big 12 play and after a second half spark, while well, Kansas State escapes the upset in Waco. The Wildcats coming into this one without All-American Aoka Lee and Baylor looking to take advantage with Nikki Collin working the ball down low. Bears absolute bullies in the paint here. Sarah Andrews takes this one herself with the one handed layup and it's four to Baylor. Yaya Felder here to Asia Blackwell down low to Dre Edwards. It's good and one. Edwards going four for four in the first half alone, causing absolute problems for the Wildcats. Baylor now works the arc on this one. Andrews to Felder, and that's all net for three. It's 14 8 Bears. Second quarter, Andrews to Blackwell. A bully in the paint once again. That's two right at the shot clock, and it's 23 15 Bears. Baylor stays on top. Walker to Danae Fritz. She says, yeah, I'll take this one, uses her body and one for Uno to widen the lead, folks. But Bears, they keep working the ball movement. Felder draws in the defender, shovels to Bella Fontleroy. Easy two for Baylor on this one, and it's 33-20 Bears. Baylor continues the lead the entire first half. Kansas State working to stay in this one, though. Serena Sundle to Jalen Glenn. Pops to Gabby Gregory at the arc, and that's a sinker for the Wildcats. But Baylor just keeps on knocking at the door. Andrews finds Jana Van Geitenbeek in the corner. A one-two punch. Baylor rides a lead first half. But second half, Bears can't stop the Wildcats. Kansas State creeps to a one-point lead. Two minutes left on the clock. Gregory sinks the and one, goes to the line. And all of a sudden, it's 58-55 Cats. The Bears just can't seem to control the ball in the final minutes of play. And the Wildcats escape the upset 58-55 final from the Foster. Okay, so let's break down what we saw and where the Bears can go from here about one third of their way through the season heading into March. Well, like you just saw in those highlights, Baylor with the lead in the first half of play going into the locker room up by nine. But here's what happened. The Wildcats switch their defense. They go from man to man to zone and while well, the Baylor offense just can't seem to take an adjustment here and Nikki Collin working the ball down low in the first half, they switch to working the arc because of the zone defense change. So the Bears ride a lead the entire first half. Kansas State comes knocking on the door. Baylor snags only 16 points in the second, going 2 for 14 from 3. Andrews can't seem to knock them down, going 0 for 4. And well, in the final minutes, things just started falling apart for the Bears. The team we saw dominating down low kept trying from the arc in the second, with just nothing falling. Turnovers, another big time issue. We saw it last game and we saw it again tonight 20 total on the night for Baylor and Nikki Collins said post game that there are definitely lots of adjustments that need to be made but hey next up they got to turn their eyes and move on the Bears have a long week ahead of them before hitting the road to Stillwater to face Oklahoma State with that tip Sunday at 1 p.m. and uh, on the men's side we've got another big time showdown coming to the Foster as the men host TCU with that tip on Saturday and they're coming back for blood after that buzzer beater win that Texas had in Austin that we all saw. So I'll be right here back on Saturday, but that's going to do it for sports.